quality of the basses reminds yeah. me perfectly of, of a bass guitar. Of a <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to this week's weekly guitar meeting, 113th edition. Today I have the pleasure of receiving a very special guest, Joanne. <laughs> Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, we, are, we are very happy to have you with us. I was looking forward to be a guest in the weekly guitar meeting because I'm watching <laughs> the weekly guitar meeting since many months and um, thanks for having me. Yeah, we're happy to have you. Joyan, we will start with our first guitar of the week. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. the first guitar of this week is um, made by the French guitar luthier Amélie Bouvray. And we have had several guitars by uh, Amélie Bouvray at Zika's and all of them very beautiful sounding guitars with a French taste, I would say. Very warm, long tone always long sustain, uh, powerful sound. And this one is a brand new one from 2024. Actually very simple look. The guitar looks very simple, but it's built very elegant and with a very fine finishing. And also the woods are really top quality. And um, it comes with a spruce top. Oh, okay. It sounds already good. You can, yeah. wow. You already know. It yeah, will be. I just have to do this and I know if the guitar will sound good or not. It was a joke. And, <laughs> okay. um, a half joke. And Madagascar rosewood, back and sides. Very beautiful wood. I really like this actually. Wow, and the guitar is also very light. Yeah, as you said, it's a very simple construction. Mm -hmm. By the way, you, you, you are such a natural to, to explain the guitar. Right? It uh, looks like you already have experience. No, no, it's my first time at the weekly. Uh, there you have it. Yeah, but I was watching your videos always, so I learned <laughs> a lot, you know? Um, and it's a five uh, fan bracing, ah, very yeah, traditional five. and mm -hmm. minimalistic. I Sometimes, asked her actually, Mm -hmm. What about it? And she said, no, 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 five is enough. Five is enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, <laughs> yeah, many guitars are that sound very good are built very simple. And the luthiers pay attention just to details and the quality of the wood. Let's play a few tones on it. very round yeah. and quite powerful no it is it is at least from my side i am feeling it feels like that the whole guitar is resonating mm. very well and if you hear from the other side a yes. loud sound then the guitar is also definitely powerful yeah. so a powerful guitar for a traditionally built guitar is very good it's a good uh, quality So let's see how this guitar sounds in the higher positions. Also very singing. Yeah, super round treble, yeah. warm, defined. 
It's like a cello. <laughs> you can do very nice vibratos and the guitar reacts also very good to to vibratos because on some guitars if you do a vibrato the guitar doesn't react so well. Mm. Yeah. But this uh, the guitar responds very well to the vibratos. Okay, a last piece and then we can change the the position because the amigo has prepared some very nice repertoire. <laughs> very comfortable to play. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Test it. Let's see. Listening to the music, I was enjoying the music, oh, okay. and I didn't um, pay a lot of attention to the sound of the guitar. But the reason why I was also enjoying the music because the guitar was responding so well. Mm. The guitar does everything. I have the feeling it does everything what you ask for. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It sounds so good. Super responsive, very easy to play, and also very good clarity in the sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. tone separation is um, there are not like hidden notes, you know. It's very mm -hmm. um, direct, but at the same time, also very round sound. So congrats to Amélie Bouvray. Definitely, definitely. Kudos to her. Next guitar. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, but... yeah. But that's <laughs> that's the story of presenting guitars. Unfortunately. <laughs> We have to, but I think the next guitar will be also. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's you see. convinced? Let's see. <laughs> so, Francisco, what's the name of this luthier? Francisco it's Munoz, not... a Spanish luthier from Granada. This is the Modelo Especial Homenaje. Homenaje. Actually, I think both Amelie and Francisco are winners of the Marie Montero guitar competition. Really? First and second favorite or something like that. Or second or third, I think. 
yeah, also a spruce top. Mm -hmm. And in this case, Indian. Indian rosewood, okay. With back and sides, beautiful yeah. inlays there. And it's a Granada school, guitar making school. Yeah. Yeah, Francisco Munoz. Yeah, traditional from... bracing as well. And the other important thing is um, the scale is 64. Ah, true. Let's, Let's see. see how the guitar sounds. different character from Amelie's. <laughs> I have to agree, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about, okay, what is similar to Amelie's guitar? <laughs> Not much. I mean, yeah, it sounds brighter. It's a bit punchier. Yeah, more direct sound, maybe more Spanish. middle tone. Yeah, 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 yeah. More Spanish tone. Probably we can say uh, Amelie is a French. Yeah. Luthery. I mean, this is the French version and this is the Spanish version. <laughs> yes. of, yeah. yeah, still very responsive. Mm. I really like the basses, like probably because of the middle tone mm -hmm. strength. The the basses are it's very full. Yeah, 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 undefined, not just yeah. not just thick. Yeah, um, and the treble sing very well. It's a very direct sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Sounds loud as well, no? From yeah, from here at least. <laughs> Yeah, it's very, um, I think because of the brilliant and direct sound and great tone separation, you are able to hear everything mm. and it yeah. makes a loud impression. Yeah, yeah, and the perception uh, is yeah, yeah. loudness. Wanna give it a try? Why not? <laughs> I agree with the basses. It was a wow effect. Set very direct, punchy, deep basses, beautiful basses. colors it's a very colorful guitar yeah. yeah very spanish very bright smiling yeah i would highlight 
highlight the brightness. It's it's very pleasant actually. Yeah. It's not harsh at all. Yeah, absolutely. guitar yeah i'm impressed actually i haven't played this one i have played uh, a few of them ah. because we have uh, we have had also some um, francisco munoz guitar uh, guitars with a, i think the previous one was with a cedar top mm -hmm. and um yeah the cedar one was maybe a bit more rounder i mean like a cedar guitar mm -hmm. and this is uh, yeah the spruce um, version of that so more bright yeah and very direct and sounds more Spanish. Okay, so I would say let's move to the next guitar. Let's do. Before we continue, if you're enjoying this video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Okay. okay. This guitar is made by the British guitar luthier, Stephen Eden, and uh, he is building I think two or three different guitar models. So he's very, a very skillful guitar maker. And uh, this guitar, as you can see, is a Daniel Friedrich model. It's based on a Daniel Friedrich guitar from 1980. And um, this guitar has a number 209. And it's um, like a replica of a concert model. Of Daniel Friedrich and uh, first of all it looks beautiful looks like a Daniel Friedrich guitar and um, it comes with a cedar top and Indian rosewood back and sides mm -hmm. and also the feeling of the guitar is like a yeah Daniel Friedrich because yeah. they have usually a slightly thicker and wider neck and uh, and heavier, no? Double back yeah, and sides. Exactly. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. But let's play a few tones. Like. We have to patent this. Patent. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So such a long sustain, man. Yes, but not only it's it's full of it's very rich. Yeah. It's very rich. Full of overtones and um, full of how do you say it? fundament? I mean core. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. I I think this is a very good hint at projection. When you hear this rich sustain, it means yeah. that I think usually it's a hint that projection will be very good. Yeah. And it makes sense with a Friedrich guitar with with very stable back and sides. Yeah, because this is um, it's very typical for a concert model of a Friedrich guitar uh, to have a very long sustain and tone uh, projection mm -hmm. and a v with a very full sound. You know, mm -hmm. the core of the sound is just there. Mm -hmm. singing Oof. the, the bass the, the bass seems to be there as well yeah will you play Städtchen? Uh, Städtchen, of course
because there's so much air in the sound. It's like a balloon. Honestly, man, I'm impressed. Like the, the quality of the basses reminds yeah. me perfectly of of a bass guitar. Of a, <laughs> of a Friedrich guitar. Friedrich, like. yeah. one it would probably uh, it, it wouldn't sound that bassy yeah, I mean it's yeah. not sounding too bassy it's very well balanced but the basses are impressive out of tune. <laughs> it's, already out. it's out of tune because the strings are new but now the amigo will play a few tones It's so clear. Yeah. If you play a chord, you can hear every tone. And uh, this is the most typical Daniel Friedrich quality, yeah. along with the um, uh, long sustain of, the, of yeah. the guitar. You know, I noticed that the, the neck mm -hmm. stays uh, constant in width. It doesn't get wider, but it makes sense because it's already quite thick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, yeah. Sorry, the thickness. The thickness stays constant. Which is actually quite comfortable. I like that, mm -hmm. even if it's uh, on the wider side. I would say if someone wants to buy a Friedrich, a new Friedrich, <laughs> a new Friedrich, <laughs> this is the way to go. A new Friedrich from England, <laughs> yeah. made by Stephen Eden. <laughs> this is uh, also if you consider the price tag of this guitar, it's uh, unstoppable. This was the best <laughs> finishing. Let's move to the next guitar. Francisco, tell me, what's the last guitar of this week? <laughs> For our last guitar, we have a Vicente Carrillo, another... Carrillo? Carrillo. Not... In Spain, they would say Carrillo. Cari Carrillo. 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 I mean, the double L can be pronounced yeah. Elie. Elie. Yeah, it's like a soft L. Or Ye. Yeah. Okay. Or like we would do in in some parts of Argentina, sure. So you are spelling the the name of the Vicente like some parts of the Argentina man. Well, what do you? Want? Is... It's my accent. <laughs> but it's it's better on in the in the mouth. It's Carillo, huh? Yeah, it's a... Vicente Carillo. Vicente Carillo. Carillo. Vicente Carillo Gabriela two. This is a double top guitar with. Cedar top and Madagascar rosewood nice. that I really like. Yeah, I like Madagascar in general. Um, it's also interesting that it has what is called a five by five lattice bracing, so it's not fully lattice but just sparse lattice. There are not so many strokes. So it's a half lattice double top. <laughs> no, no, it's a full double top with a light lattice bracing instead of a traditional. Mm -hmm. Traditional. Yeah. Bracing, yeah. 
And this one here is a shorter scale at 63. 63, ah. Yeah, 630, 50 millimeter mm -hmm. width at the nut. Um, let's see how it sounds. Yeah, I'm curious. A bit funny going from the wide from Daniel Friedrich uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, from Stephen, Stephen Eden, Eden to 63. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, quite a big difference. But but still pleasantly surprised. Very well balanced instrument and quite powerful as expected. No? Mm. Um, very balanced. It doesn't have such a strong middle range as I expected. Yeah, it's it's more bright, bright and punchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sound very soft no I mean when you were playing it, it it sounded very bright and punchy it's also because of the playing style yeah. but actually was paying attention to the tone as well the, yeah. the tone production of, of each of us right now you agree right we sound very different on the guitars Definitely. but but it's it's a good thing Brightness and no, not brightness, oh. but strength in the middle tone. Like I ah. when, I, when I played, it was maybe a bit brighter. On yeah. The side. I mean, you can see how much influence you can have on an instrument. Yes. You can, if you want to, you can have a very bright sound if you play with the thin part of your nail, but you can play also more like Aniello Desiderio. <laughs> Elastic sounding guitar. You can yeah. form the guitar de and design the sound um, as you want. And yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's um, in general, it's it's more uh, 
it's a more bright sounding guitar, I would say. Yes, and, uh, yes definitely. It's, it's not the loudest, but it has a clear sound. It has a good tone separation. It's very direct. And it's, it responds also very well. Yeah. Evicente Carillo. <laughs> or Carillo. Carillo, so that most of the Spanish speakers don't. Okay. Please don't blame me. Blame me <laughs> if I, I... I'm just... Carrillo is a good compromise. Carrillo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let us know in the comments how do you pronounce the Vicente Carrillo. <laughs> um, so it was also the last guitar of this week. Yeah. Yeah. Th thank you. Thank yeah. you for visiting. <laughs> thank you for coming, jo joining us. Julian, it was a pleasure to have you. Thanks for having me. It was, um, I always, I was always dreaming of being part of the weekly guitar meeting and <laughs> thanks for invite, in, invitation. Um, I'm honored. Yeah. You know what, I'm, I'm just looking at the camera, I realize I, I forget to look at the camera. I don't know what the audience will think. <laughs> like, hi guys. <laughs> Ah, you were talking to me. Yeah, yeah, most of the time, I think. I mean, it's a conversation. Definitely. It, it's, it's, um, let us know in the comments should if we, we should look more at each other or in the camera. And this is an honest question. It's a, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it would be interesting for us to know what do you prefer. And of course, let us know how do you rate the sound of the guitars? What was which guitar sounded for you the most beautiful? And um, as usual, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel if you didn't do that already. Is it is it right how I'm doing it? Because you seem to be a natural. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> no, and thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe I will be back next week. Yeah. Maybe we can put a. A little face around the camera, so I, I look at the face and. At the, it's a good idea. We can buy a staffed. Yeah, or we can, animal. or we can put uh, Jonathan. Jonathan. During yeah. the whole video, just be behind the camera because he has nothing to do, so yeah. he can yeah. just sit and look yeah. okay. from the camera. Okay. That's it. So let's go to Jonathan <laughs> and talk to him about this. <laughs> okay. Bye, Bye, guys.